When I ran for president, I had a great opportunity and privilege of traveling the country and spending time with people in big cities and small towns, north, south, east, west, midwest, and hearing from them their perspective and the experiences that formed their views. Uh, I remember in particular, there was, there was a town hall that I had in New Hampshire where literally on one side of the room, there were a few very avid and vocal supporters of the Second Amendment. And a few seats away on the other side of the room, uh, there was a mom who was really, really worried about her young child going to school and becoming a victim of yet another mass shooting. It was a very emotional moment hearing from both of them. And rather than me taking over and, uh, you know, kind of dictating whatever my views were, I wanted to hear from both of them. I wanted to better understand where both of them were coming from. And that town hall, most of that town hall was spent listening, listening to uh, these two different people talk to each other. It had this really powerful effect on me and I think a lot of people in the room of, of recognizing, hey, this is tough. This is a, a complex conversation. But ultimately, the outcome of that conversation was these two people, they walked out in agreement on both, that we have to protect our constitutional rights and freedoms and work together as a community, as a society, to keep our kids and our families safe. These are the kinds of conversations that people in Washington should be having. Instead, what we see are these self-serving politicians who care only about power in the next election using this issue, weaponizing it as a political football to rile up voters and fundraise on either side. We see the news media framing these stories with a very specific narrative, whatever agenda it is that they want to push on, whichever side they're on. But at that town hall in New Hampshire, we had real conversation with real people uh, taking what is often a fiery and complex issue with people on both sides, drawing that line in the sand, immediately saying, I'm against you and you're against me. Instead, in that town hall, this became uh, a real conversation that went toward um, the truth, which is how do we work together to uphold our freedom and keep our community safe. So for me personally, these experiences that I've gone through combined with the Democratic Party's increasing authoritarian instincts have really driven home the truth. That protecting our freedom to defend ourselves and those we love and protecting our rights and freedoms enshrined in the Constitution against a tyrannical power is exactly why we must ensure that our right to bear arms shall not be infringed.